The Idaho Innovation Center is a business incubator located in Eastern Idaho, providing resources to companies where entrepreneurs can confidently and aggressively start and grow their small business through collaboration, education, mentoring, and shared resources. Here's what some tenants of the Idaho Innovation Center have said. The classes they hold at the Idaho Innovation Center have proven to be invaluable for my business and its growth. The Idaho Innovation Center has given my business the support when needed in areas of business strategy, marketing, networking, and growth opportunities. An innovative tenant said, the training and mentoring has helped us accomplish things we would never have done on our own. Thank you. And a technology client said, the Idaho Innovation Center has been a perfect partner for our startup. The staff is focused on taking business to the next level, and we have. And finally, I would recommend the Idaho Innovation Center as the best resource to either start or grow your business in Eastern Idaho. The Idaho Innovation Center, stimulating entrepreneurial spirit and innovation through business growth and development in Eastern Idaho. At the Idaho Innovation Center, entrepreneurs can confidently grow their business through networking and educational opportunities with experienced business professionals. There is access to many free amenities, including one-on-one -on -one business mentoring and advising through the Small Business Development Center, conference room usage, and reception services. Everything we do at the Idaho Innovation Center is designed to help keep costs down and energy up for growth-oriented businesses. Let the Idaho Innovation Center take your business to the next level. Welcome to the Business Boys Talkin' Business Show with your hosts, Brian Magleby and Tyler Price. Hey, we're back. We're back. Yeah. Welcome to Talking Business. Talking Business. Here we a great show last week. Brendan Kraft, American Family Insurance. Yeah. Okay, just mover and a shaker. And I could say the word that describes him best is a networker. There, he does a good job. He's he always is out doing something. Everywhere, man. Yep. That guy is at every chamber networking event. Uh, he's involved with multiple networking groups. And the guy is just making business happen. Yeah. Which is what it takes, right? He's just out there and yeah. just, uh, it's its just, he's doing a phenomenal job. If you haven't watched that show, check out our library. We, we've been doing this for two and a half years now. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Two and a half wow. years. Most shows get canceled after the first season. Season or so, yeah. but yeah. no, we're two, two and a half <laughs> years into this. We're excited to... To have uh, the show continue that, and we and we have we've had some great guests. We got a great guest today, Christina, and I'm not gonna att you're attempt gonna, to slaughter the last it. name. We'll you're let her roll her R's. Yeah, I'm not gonna slaughter it, so I'll let her say it right. Yes, there we go. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> She's with Silver Creek Realty. She's also the CEO of a couple different other companies. It's kind of all in one package. Uh, she's doing some great things here in eastern Idaho. We're excited for that. Uh, we got a great guest next week too, Barb Ehart. Yeah, she's one of our state representatives out there doing good stuff and it making is. things happen, right? Yes, she so, is. Yeah, looking and, forward uh, to that. Man, she's a mover and a shaker and has some great uh, great things going and she's going to kind of wrap up the legislative session. Yeah. We had Rod Furness on at the beginning before they went into session. And now we got uh, Barbie Hart uh, here to wrap it up after the, the the legislative session that just ended. So anyway, appreciate you turning in, tuning in to Talking Business. Who are some of the people that keep this show on the air? Well, you know, there's BBSI. They've been with us from the very beginning. If you have HR, if you have business consulting, if you just need someone to run payroll, or you know, they have they do it all. They, they can do anything. They do, so. man. And they got some of the best employees, the Troy, Troy there, Jeremy. You heard Jeremy's voice there on the Innovation Center's ad. If you hear the commercial kitchen, we got Troy doing the voice yeah. on that. Uh, um, anyway, great company. Anything, if your company needs any kind of assistance dealing with human resources, you got to check out BBSI. Yeah. How about Stylehouse? Boy, you know, Christy just does good things. Christy Carl Quest, she's out there also just, I don't know when that lady sleeps, but exactly. Uh, she found a little cool niche and just went for it and has Style done some great house. things. And it's got our decorations yep. here and our set here just doing wonderful. So Style House, Decor and Staging, the SBDC, Idaho's Best Kept Secret as you've pinned it for years. Yep. If your business needs any kind of help, whether you're a startup or you've been in business and you just need some little bit of guidance down that road, 
check out, uh, we'll be glad to meet with you at idahosbdc.org and then hit just get help button. So yeah. And then Amy Romrell with uh, Mrs. Powell's, right? Man, she she's does so generous stuff. and so nice, and just the oh man, you just if you hear the word Mrs. Powell's, your your tongue just starts salivating. Yeah. And want one of those cinnamon yeah, rolls, doesn't her, it? I mean, she does a lot, but those cinnamon rolls are are definitely up there. So amen yep. to that. Very good. Of course, the Idaho Innovation Center, where we're recording here today. We've got our studio here. Um, if your office, if your company needs a, a place to call home. Check out the Idaho Innovation Center. Yeah. New Line Media, boy, that Tyson Bolcom kind of knows what he's doing, doesn't he? he? He does our show here. He does videography work. He does, uh, you know, it really a lot. He travels of, all over the world to do yeah, videography. Yeah. So check out his website. You can look him up on Facebook at New Line Media, Tyson Bolcom, Volpine Marketing. We appreciate Ryan. How do you Jose, say his last name? Jose. Jose. Yep. Jose. Yeah. And, uh, Man, he for two and a half years, he's kept our website up, and we sure appreciate the work and the efforts of Ryan there at Volpine Marketing and Man Cave Innovations, helping us out with our technology here in our studio. Um, look up Man Cave Innovations. I think it's .net. Uh, anyway, uh, they they are got a great, if you need anything and you're dealing with your home automation, check out Rourke there at Man Cave Innovations. So we talked about... Uh, uh, we got this uh, class starting up next month. Uh, I don't know if we have a flyer for it, but uh, if your if your company needs any kind of assistance with QuickBooks, we uh, will uh, we have some a class starting in May that's on QuickBooks. Um, but if you want to put that class up, we've got a class tonight. If you're looking for something to do tonight, the 21st, um, we cut off registration yesterday, but you can call the Innovation Center. Um, if the phone number's there at the bottom of the screen, but we've got Dutch oven night, perfect date night. Yeah, the Dutch oven doesn't suck, so that's a good time. You'll be fed for the twenty bucks. You'll get. You'll, you'll be trying out. Uh, man, he's going to do some great Dutch oven talking all about the secrets of Dutch oven cooking um, tonight. So if you're interested in taking that class, there still may be some room. Um, call that number and see if you can uh, get in tonight. Um, we've uh, I, I, we're might be full, but uh, we'll be glad to see if we can get you in that class because uh, it's uh, we're excited to have these cooking classes uh, each and every month. So cookbook cooking and cla uh, classes and QuickBooks classes, that's what we have coming up. Yeah. Well, do them at the same time. Yeah. Eat and do your accounting. That's so. right. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, we're excited today. We got uh, Christina. I'm going to let her say her last name because she says it's so much better than yeah. I. She's with Silver Creek Realty Group here in Idaho Falls. Plus, she's the CEO of new image painting and new image development. And we're gonna learn all about those different uh, businesses that uh, Christine uh, has going. And uh, so we're gonna watch a quick video um, that will introduce her uh, what she does and then we'll welcome Christina onto the set. At Silver Creek Realty Group, it's really important for us to sit down with you and help you craft a business plan and a path to your success. There are a number of different ways to achieve success in real estate. There's becoming a successful individual agent. There's growing a team. There's trying to manage another career as well as real estate. And for us, it's all about helping and identifying what your goals are and helping you get there. Agents go into business for themselves for many different reasons. We provide the resources and opportunities for them to travel whatever path that they would like. That's been a reason why I've been here for so long is that you know no one's telling you you need to dress this way or you need to have this many people on your team or it's really taking what fits your brand and moving forward with it. Well great. That's fantastic. So, so say yeah. that last name again. I mean cuz we ca I can't roll the Rs like yes. that. So it's Negrete. 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 Very good. Eventually yeah. I'll get that. So Yeah. Yes. Well, good. So you've been in real estate for a minute. And why don't you tell us a little bit about the Silver Creek and then the, the new image painting and new image dev. How do those all three kind of blend together? Yeah. So um, I am brokered under Silver Creek. I just started um, my newly established real estate team, Luxury Listings Group. Um, and with starting Luxury Listings Group, the goal of it was to change the culture in real estate. Um, I really wanted to roll out the red carpet for people, mm -hmm. um, for our clients. And 
<laughs> You're good. Yeah. One thing about that, um, about rolling out the red carpet that I'm able to do is take a client from A to Z, as I previously said. Um, if you are a developer looking to buy land and looking to develop, um, looking to get your renderings done, um, looking to turn around and build and then sell, I'm your one-stop shop from A to Z. Um, and so that's kind of how all of that ties in together. Yeah, wow. very good. Talk to us about these other, uh, so the p painting business that you're yeah. a CEO of and then the development company. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just a lot to add on to the responsibilities of being a realtor. It absolutely is. Um, so I started in the painting industry um, 15 years ago. We established our first company uh, when I was 23 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I used to work for Bear Paint, and so I was a site inspector. So basically, paint never fails. Um, it's always the applicator that fails. And so I would save them from multi-million dollar lawsuits mm -hmm. of going to court, and I would um, happen to catch that mistake that the painter did that had paint failure. Um, and so after being in construction, um, I would say after five years, we started taking on more trades. So we started doing um, like masonry work, um, EFIS, we would do drywall tape and texture, basically everything except um, HVAC, electrical and plumbing. Wow. Um, and so just being in construction for so long, doing everything, we decided to become a class A general construction company. Mm -hmm. And so that's when we became New Image Developments, and I am the Class A general contractor. Wow. So I'm about one in five percent in the state of Idaho. That can wow. that can do all that. That can be Class A. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. And so you went probably through your biggest challenge, not being finding work, but finding employees then during the last little bit. Correct. Yeah. And so that was something that we really had to make a change in um, and innovate with the market. And so we actually. Um, stopped doing all of these trades with our employees and instead we started hiring subcontractors. Mm -hmm. um, we've been the ones to build the relationship with everybody like the last 15 years. Um, it's interesting because if we would have started out as a general contractor, we never would have created those relationships with all of the subcontractors that we do. Um, and so that's how we were able to overcome that whole employee ordeal is we've realized that um, people that work for themselves and have their own companies tend to show up. Um, more than your employees. Employees have more excuses than um, Amen. a woman Amen. with 20 kids. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hopefully there isn't a woman with 20 kids. <laughs> <Exactly. Yeah. laughs> so, talk, no. so talk about, uh, you've, you're from here in the Eastern Idaho area. Yes. You have family here. You, yes. you work in the business with your, with your uh, husband and yes. kids? Um, husband, okay. not, not my kids. So um, we actually have quite a big family, 15-year-old, 17-year-old, 18-year-old, 20-year-old, all girls. And then wow. um, our only boy, he'll be 22 this wow. year. Wow. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was super busy with my family. I never worked until my daughter went into kindergarten, my last one. So I went from being a stay-at-home mom with all these kids to this chaplain. Um, and then I got into paint, and then I became this big businesswoman in wow. construction and real estate. Wow. Yeah. What, 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 why did you choose uh, Silvergate, Silver Creek? Silver Creek. Silver Creek. Yeah, um, so I got my real estate license in California. I was with Berkshire Hathaway California Properties. Um, I was on a 90-10 commission split and I came to Idaho. And as a businesswoman, since I was 23, um, I just couldn't, I wasn't okay with all the commission splits that Idaho offered. Um, and I found Silver Creek that was only $450 um, per transaction. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I do a $5 million transaction in commercial, I end up paying $450. Dollars. I don't have to pay 10%. Ten. What, what work, a lot of the other companies do. Exactly. So. And I work way too hard for my money. And so for me, Silver Creek was the way to go. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. There's some great people yeah. there and, and a great company. They're, they're based they out of Boise. They are. Yes. And great, uh, great company, Silver Creek. I, I, I just know some people, um, even some realtors uh, over in Boise area yes. that uh, that uh, they're just they got a phenomenal thing going, and just uh, there's a reason why some realtors choose them like you did. So. Absolutely, and they are um, the number one brokerage in the state of Idaho. Mm. So there, there's a lot of amazing things about Silver Creek, but again. Um, for me, I'm a self-starter. I like to read a lot. I like to teach myself a lot. And so it, it, for me, it was all about the money. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that's, not, that's not terrible, right? No. Right. So where are you seeing currently with, with your uh, uh, 
getting in and doing work on homes, painting, mm -hmm. everything but HVAC, plumbing, and electrical, uh -huh. right? So, so where's the market kind of shifting right now? And then what strategies to be able to combat some of that? Because there, yeah. there, there does tend to be a lag, I think, as we see interest rates kind of fluctuate and mm -hmm. go higher, right? Yeah. So, so I guess what are you seeing and then how do you combat that? That is a big question. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Um, what, will you say that again? Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, so and, it, and I guess it's in any of your businesses. Yes. Like, like as things slow down, what are the things that you're doing to overcome the slowdown? Okay. Down? Okay. And then, yeah, it, and and then even in the uh, construction side of it. Yes. You know, what do you? How do you? How do you make that work? So. Okay. So, um, we're actually about ninety nine percent commercial. Mm -hmm. We are okay. only one percent residential. Okay. The only way you'll get us in residential is if you're my client. Yeah. Um. Then I will send in my people to do our con our real estate concierge services. Um, so actually, we are finishing up um, some projects in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, the Victoria Lane Apartments, mm -hmm. um, the Powderhorn Apartments. Um, we just finished up the hospital over there and we're going to be doing a school. So we are piggybacking off of <clears throat> PWC, who is another general construction company, mm -hmm. and we've taken about 10 of those trades that we're doing in Jackson Hole. Um, we also do public works, so we can do government jobs. Um, we actually just got one. Um, we're working on a $40 million project right now, which will be our biggest um, yet to come. Nice. Um, and so really for us, because we did start construction like 15, 16 years ago, thanks be to God, yeah. we um, are not struggling at all. Yeah. We instead, um, we have so many people contacting us. We probably turn away about... 98% of our residential work um, and commercial, we try to always do what we can. We'll bring crews from Colorado if we have to make it work, so, yeah. yeah. Very good, I like one of these suggestions. We, we ask all of the people that come on the show, um, two suggestions of business advice for new entrepreneurs. So, if you're a new entrepreneur, listen up here. To one of the things she says, don't let people get in your head. Remember, people want to see you doing well just never better than themselves. If you are or if you are building a team, be slow to hire and quick to fire. Man, I wish every every uh, every company would uh, follow that one. People only need to show you who you are once, not twice. So very very good advice. What are what is some of that? You've been successful here in the business arena. What are some of the advice that you would give to other entrepreneurs out there? Um. I mean, really believe in yourself because at the end of the day, um, you're all that you have. Um, for me and I, my husband, I'm very lucky because he pushes me and pushes me um, to do great things. And sometimes I'm like, when does this ever end? I'm, <laughs> I'm a little exhausted, but the end goal is to retire by the time we're 50. So we can really um, enjoy all of our hard works and we can, we're, I'm actually turn, becoming a grandma this year. Wow. Um, I'm having my first grandchild and I was hoping to be retired before that happened. Um, but with all five of our kids, I really want to make sure that we have the ability to retire early so we can enjoy the fruits of our work. Um, we can go travel, see our kids, um, and be a huge part of our grandkids' life and help take that burden off of our kids when it comes to children financially. Yeah. Yeah, we we had we have three grandchildren now, and I'll say that grandchildren are better than children. Oh, way better. I, I got five. I always, I always say that. So, yep. yeah. yeah. Very, That's what I've always heard. Very good. Well, talk to us. What, what else do you want uh, people to know about your services that yeah. you have? Um, you know, so when it comes to real estate, uh, when you buy or sell with Luxury Listings Group, it, it's pretty special. Um, we have a huge construction team that stands behind us, stands behind me, and it's really important when it comes time for inspections. Um, for instance, we had um, a roof last year. We couldn't um, get inspection on it, and then right because of all the snow, and then right before we close, the snow melted, and they're like, "We want to get that ins that roof inspection done." Um, and so we did, and the whole roof was just terrible. So we called three other people. Well, I didn't. They called three other people, and it was like twenty, twenty-five grand. Um, I called my roofers, got them in three days later for $8,000 plus material. Um, and so we're just able to do that kind of stuff to make it work. Um, one other thing I'm huge into is probates. 
Uh, so when somebody passes away and their heirs heir the property, um, we love to offer our concierge services because whether they want to sell as is or they want to do a total flip, remodel, we have all of those concierge. We can help everybody. We can help everybody, um, again, from A to Z. And we can make sure that a deal doesn't go south because of an inspection. Like, we got it covered. I, I built several houses. Um, we're a part of huge commercial projects. So for me, anything that can come up on inspection is just so minute. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not a big deal. Very good. Well, that, man, that's uh, that's great. That I mean, when you say you can help people from A to Z, you tr you truly can. Yeah. Well, so where do you get that type of education? Because it is a complicated, and and it's different municipalities do different things, and yes. you can be, you know, <clears throat> literally across the street, and you know, one city here, one city here, yeah, and it can be the difference of thirty, fifty thousand dollars. So, yep. so where is it that you that you have uh, learned your craft? Yeah, so um, again, just being in the commercial industry, um, so I'm NASCLA certified. So to become a Class A, um, I actually started my construction license in Oregon, mm -hmm. and that gives me reciprocity over 29 states. So I can go to Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and I can obtain the highest class. Um, I fly through school, so I'm more about my licensing. I tried college. Um, I felt like it was a complete waste of my time, um, only because I went to college at 28. I started my first company at 23, mm -hmm. and it was very backwards. And so I just take classes that are going to benefit me. Um, and so the NASCLA, it's a National Association Contractors Licensing Agency. Um, and then Public Works. So that one was a four hour test, um, and then Public Works to do um, work under government agencies um, like the INL, the courthouse. Um, just uh, gels, cities, police stations, city, city counties, exactly, all that. all that kind of stuff. Um, so we can do public works. That was a four hour test. That was probably one of my hardest exams I've had to take. And then my California real estate license. So again, it's just really targeting those classes um, to be able to pass all of those licensing. Listen those up, tests. if you're if you are not <laughs> in that at that arena, but that you can you can skip that some of that college yeah. education by doing just what she's done to be certified a like that. A lot of hands-on so, experience, yeah. yeah Very good. Is there anything else that you want to, to tell our business watching community out there the, the, about uh, Christina? Um, you know, I'm here to help in any way I can. Check out our website. Again, it's luxurylistingsgroup.com. Um, on there, it will talk about all of our concierge real estate services. When you buy, sell, whether it's residential, commercial, um, land sales, or you're looking to develop or invest. So check out our website. Um, we spent a lot of time on that, um, and it's everything I wanted it to be. We're almost there, so maybe in about another week it'll it'll hit perfection. <laughs> so check out our website again, and you'll learn quite a bit about us. Yeah, very, very cool. Very good. Well, we uh, we appreciate you being here uh, and the. And our show talking about this uh, quote that you have here. Try to get the glare out of it. There you go. Yes. I love this quote. I do as well. Go ahead and, and, and tell us about yes. it. Yes. So um, my quote is, if you think hiring a professional is expensive, wait until you hire an amateur. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yes. Now, something that resonates really big with me again is being, say, in the construction industry or real estate. Um, it's always baffled my mind why people will always go with the lowest bidder or the cheapest contractor or the discounted real estate agent. Um, you're not necessarily doing yourself a service um, because you really only have one shot. And especially when it comes to your home, it's the biggest asset of your life and it needs to be dealt with the utmost care. Um, and that means hiring a professional from the beginning um, to save you from all the distress. I've seen it in construction and in the real estate industry. Um, and I refuse to be the lowest bidder or the cheapest real estate agent yeah. discounted um, because I know that if my money is getting discounted, my services are not going to, yeah. I'm, I'm taking out something from you. You know, I'm cutting you short somehow. Yeah. So. I love that quote. If you think uh, hiring a professional is expensive, wait till you hire an amateur. That is just, uh, <laughs> I, and people learn that the hard way. Yeah, I think yeah, that they, they, they usually yes. do. So, yeah. so very good. Well, thank you, Christina, for doing here. We've got a great gift. It's kind of on the screen here. It's so big, it's blocking me out. It which is. Which is totally <laughs> fine with me. It I is. Mean, 
Tell us about the gift because there's a few things in here. Yes. Um, so New Image Developments went ahead and gave the four-piece grilling set and a nice chair that has a cooler under it. Yeah. Um, my good friend Carl from Highlands Mortgage um, is giving gifting a two hundred dollars super fancy cut knife. Cutco knife. Wow. Yeah. You don't yep. get better than a Cutco knife. There so you go. Thank you. Yep. And then uh, there's a tumbler in there for your um, iced tea or yep. hot coffee, a golf towel, um, got some gumballs for the kids, candle for the wife, and some pens. What a yeah. great gift. Thank yeah. you yeah. for uh, bringing that. Yeah. And, the, and Mr. Trivia. I, okay. What is her website? Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, well, a, you better pay attention because sometimes people hear websites. Yeah. So now, now people actually have to go, well, I think it's this. And oh, now they have I to go like type that. it in. That's right. right. We'll help so a little bit with SEO. <laughs> is the website that she's mentioned a few times yes. throughout the show that uh, that she does you might look it up and 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 I, I imagine if people wanted to google search christina and say the last name negrete now nah, she's negrete. i'm gonna slaughter her if i try that so christina we appreciate you being here today on talking business and man services from a to z um, absolutely uh great uh, things to do there in the real estate so check her out uh at uh, Silver Creek Realty Group here in Otto Falls. Is that right? Yep. Um, luxury Listings oh. Group. Uh, yeah, oh, whoa. She just might. Thing, might uh, give it away. If you were looking somebody. it up in Google search, yeah. she said it. So uh, Luxury Listings Group, our office is located <laughs> right next to Just for Kids Dental. Okay. Yes, it is. Over off of Hit Road then. Um, you, oh, South Utah. South, South Utah. Utah. Oh, yep, down, over there in yeah. Utah. Okay, right very across good. from Walmart. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well, we appreciate Christine, uh, Christina being here today and uh, and uh, services she offers. We have got a great, we, you know, me and you talk BS, but Jared and I talk even better BS. Yeah, I think so. I'm and and, and, the, and the business, wow, I can all I can say is it's one of the best, if not the best, I, I can say it, the best place to eat breakfast here yeah, in town. I think so. Abra, abracadabra. Abracadabras, yeah. baby. And man, if you... Yeah, if your mouth uh, isn't watering after us talking about Mrs. Pals, after talking about abracadabras, I guarantee you'll be wanting to go there to breakfast. So Now, when you go into any other restaurant for breakfast, they're spitting on your food for that comment. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so I guess I'll be going just to abracadabras. I'll go to, I'll go to all of them. Dixie's uh -huh. Diner, they all are good. Smitty's. So, so but anyway, uh, we'll do, got that total BS segment. And then make sure you tune in next week. Barb Ehart. Got a great show with uh, Barbie Hart, so tune in tomorrow. Thanks for watching Talking Business today. Make it a great day. Give us a thumbs up while we end every show. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. All right, welcome back. Man, what a great show we've had today, and we are here to talk some total BS. We are. Business Spotlight, baby, and we got a great... Oh, man, I can't tell you. My mouth is watering now, wanting to go to... Yeah, Abras. Who hasn't? Who doesn't know about Abras? Abracadabra. So man, over on Channing Way, and man, I'm just telling you, my I'm just salivating here. We've been sitting here talking about some of our favorite foods there, but talk to us about Abracadabras. Yeah, you know, Brian, Abras is is really cool. We all know the great menu, the great <laughs> experience that we go there, um, but you know, it, it's 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 homegrown. Um, not trying to rip anything off. It's a unique concept. We've got a location here in Idaho Falls. Mm -hmm. We've got a location in Pocatello. Pocatello. We have a location in Twin, Twin Falls. Falls yep. And um, if, if you've tried to get in there, it's worth the wait on weekends. It is. It is. And it's well worth the wait. It is. So, But beyond the food, what really why I wanted to spotlight Abercadabras is the owner. And I love business owners because it is a tough world. It is. You, you get paid last. Mm -hmm. Um, your employees think that you just will borrow the money to the yes. bank. Mm -hmm. um, but in reality, it takes a lot of work, a lot of stress, a lot of, 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 of just grit to solve problems along the way because you just can't shut down and retool. Yeah. So speaking of shutdowns, I was telling you a story before yeah. we started. Um, Josh, the owner of Abris, is one of the smartest um, restaurant and business people I have ever yep. in my life. And we all reflect back on what happened during COVID, particularly. We don't like to, but we will. We don't. But there was a lot of great lessons learned. Um, restaurants and hospitality really suffered. And Abra's had to shut their doors. Like all the other restaurants, they were subject to a shutdown and had all the compliance things that they had to deal with. However, um, he looked at this as an opportunity to provide service for the community and to keep the lights on and revenue coming through his machine, mm -hmm. which was really cool. 
So when all the restaurants shut down, those restaurants stopped placing orders to the wholesalers for their goods. Yep. And so the wholesalers had all this inventory backing up and all their orders were canceled. So they started cutting deals. The so Josh at Abra's said, hey, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Bring it in. And so he started cutting down meat, um, mixing pancake mix, taking bulk commodities that he could buy at the wholesale price, um, pushing it down. And we know that some of the um, issues on the grocery supply chain was all wonky. Yeah. Um, people could go to Abra's and purchase essentially at a little bit over wholesale commodity foodstuffs. Yeah. Um, which Amazing was awesome. idea. Great thing. I kept, kept him in business, I bet. It kept him in business and also allowed him to really take a look at fine tuning what was going to be his relaunch model when COVID opened up again. And if you, if you didn't pay attention, um, restaurants really tough because you make your money in about three and a half hours of the day, but mm -hmm. most of the businesses are open for, you know, eight, nine hours. Yeah. And so oftentimes you have to pay two shifts, which means your, your staff gets burned out or they turn over. Um, Avarice has a really cool vibe in there with their staff and their facilities. And, and that, that, that's my only complaint about them, is they're not open enough hours. I like they're breakfast not. for dinner, <laughs> and not. sometimes, but they, but they are open during the breakfast and lunch hours, limited. Limited, limited so it drives demand, it does. right? Because th there's not this huge availability, so it shrinks a little bit of demand, yep. which causes a sense of urgency to go in, but it also allows them to have one core staff. So we're not shifting kitchen staff and we're not turning over shifts yeah. on the way staff. So wages for their employees because they get tips yep. went up Wow! because I'm not scheduled to work the dead time. Yeah. I'm scheduled to work the peak hours. Yep. Um, they get and it's all peak there. So. And it's all peak there. And they get a chance to work really well together, deliver an amazing experience for the customers who walk through the door. So not only do you get great food, you get great service um, and you have a wonderful experience that's unique to Abra's, unique in the region. And in my experience traveling around the country, and you have as well, yes. it's one of the most it unique concepts I've been in the country. It is. And uh, we were talking about some of our specialty, some of the, some of our uh, favorite. I love the French toast. My daughter loves the Monte Cristo sandwich. I, I mean, I can tell you that anybody that I've taken there has just said, this is unbelievable. What's your favorite? Well, I'm, I'm, mine's the heart attack special, which is the, <laughs> the, the fanatical farmer with extra country gravy. Wow. Um, I might just have to go check that out. So uh, you'll probably be seeing me there, but you got to go. If you haven't been there, you are missing out. Abracadabra's Breakfast and Bistro, they have limited hours. Uh, I mean, they're open, what, in the mornings? Tell them to like till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's plenty of time. It is plenty of time, but there's, that's their specialty, and you are missing out if you have not been there. And, and again, another shout out, Josh Swain, the owner of Abra's one of the smartest business people in the region, yep. um, happens to specialize in uh, restaurants. Yep. Um, great shout out to him. He is a bootstrap Expand, up. Expanded and done, yeah, done, done well. Done very well. Done very well. Encourage you to go see Abracadabras on Channing here in Idaho Falls. They're on Yellowstone, I think, in Pocatello, oh. and I haven't been to the Twin Falls one yet. but I'll be there Wednesday morning. Yes, I'm sure week. you will be. Uh, so... Uh, Anyway, thank you for uh, watching uh, our to talk in business today. We appreciate BBSI. Man, what a great company. And we appreciate them being a sponsor here of Total BS, the business spotlight each and every week. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Make it a great weekend, everybody.